Hello everybody, it's me, Charity Case, and I'm here with my gorgeous season three sister, Scarlett Harlot. I love And today we're going to be transforming each other into Linda the Good Witch and Elphaba the Bad Witch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be so beautiful. We'll try. And you ain't got any eyebrows, which is the best yeah. thing for me. So, what should we talk about, Miss Charity? Um Let's ask, I want to ask you, like, how did you first get into drag? So, I'm three years older than you, but I think we almost oh, started I always thought you were my age, actually. Yeah, well, I felt the same way. I didn't realise that you were so young. <laughs> um, because you are very mature. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to slather it on. Go okay for it. So, I entered um, a competition at the Green Carnation, and then I won the competition. Mm -hmm. um, but it was for amateurs, so so <laughs> it wasn't really a big stretch. Yeah, it's great to, it's a great start to a career, though. Yeah. You know? I um, I always knew that I'm not a creative person. I mean, I you know you have to be somewhat creative to do drag. It was my way of expressing myself. Yeah. You know, and I think that you're the same way. But it was a way of, for me to kind of I don't know be like all out there and be like bold because in my real life a lot of people don't realise that I'm I'm quite reserved and I'm quite like shy. And so drag was my way to kind of like be larger than life, just to like express my personality in the way that I wanted to. Yeah. I, I always I, I, I feel like drag for. Gay men, anyway, that grew up kind of mm. in a straight world. It's kind of our way of like. Ooh, sorry. It's kind of it gives us like a free card to express that femininity that we've always been told we're not allowed to express. Uh, so yeah, literally, I entered this competition, I won, and then after that, I was just like, okay, well, I guess this is what I'm doing. I tried to get on TV a lot of the time before. I was in, I was on that Total Wipeout type show. Were you? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, it was called the Almost Impossible Game Show. I had to to, to crawl around in mud. Oh I my god. To, uh, it just it's on YouTube somewhere if people want to Google it, but I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> uh, so literally, I've done the, I've done some crazy fucking things before, before Drag Race. I don't like to kick up a fuss. I don't like to be like the really out there person. In yeah, drag, you can, totally. you can be that, you know. And so. And I wouldn't know about not wanting to be the out there person. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, what I love the most about your drag and, and why you do drag is because it's like an extension of your creativity that it's beyond drag, it's just art. Oh, thank you, babe. And I mean, you, I know that you know that, but but it, it, it's nice to see that because no, it's... it means the world coming from you. I've appreciated your drag ever since the first time I met you. Oh, please. Like, honestly, even from back then, like, your face was perfect. Oh, you know what? We I've got a picture of the two of us. Oh, my the God. The first time we met, and we're going to flash it up now. And we... We both look like, I don't know, you know. I look awful new then. to drag. Um, we I was both, trying to do Princess Peach, that's what I was doing. I, was I remember, like, I remember oh. you had the pink dress and that, yeah, I remember it. The day I met you thinking, damn, this is a character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've grown a lot as a person since then. Like, absolutely, absolutely. You know what? I love, I love the fact that you've, as you've gotten older, you've really kind of understand yourself, you know. Oh yeah, like for a long period of my life, I gave off so much nervous energy. I mean, I'd gone for so long, like Absolutely. feeling rejected. Mm. So when I when I found this community of people that I felt like genuinely like where I belonged, mm -hmm. it was like it was kind of me reaching out. But me now, too. Okay, like I am comfortable with who I am, and I, I don't have that same nervous energy exactly. anymore. Exactly. Well, you know not what? until I walked into the Drag Race yeah. workroom. <laughs> <That's different. That's laughs> you know what? It's it's so nice to, to be on this journey with you. To be honest, because our friendship is a lot deeper than what people are seeing on TV. Because you know they only see an hour, but whereas we've known each other for years. Yeah. yeah. And because I've known you for so long, um, it, it's so nice to, to see the journey for you because. Because I've seen you go from that like nervous little kid to a really confident, like, you know, talented, amazing, I mean, you've always been talented, but oh, like, just a confident, <laughs> I amazing. I was not that talented like that. <laughs> not, no, not a drag. Say, when, they, when they, they've seen the picture at this point of how awful <laughs> I looked as well, God. You're amazing at like, speaking you're really witty and funny that's, and like on a microphone like that's that's what you're so good at that and thank you babe. you know i think you really showed that thank you um and and that's never been my thing <laughs> I, I do visual art not like i'm good at being doing comedic imagery <laughs> well, that's the thing. I you are such like a funny like a quirky like <laughs> so fun person to be around even though, yeah, we did Big Brother's bit on the side, but also like... Oh yeah, that was like, what that show was. We've not even mentioned what yeah, it was. It was yeah. Big Brother's bit on the side and we were filming and it was like all drag queens Yeah, it was all drag queens in the audience. We did um, 
the Abfab film together. Oh yeah, we did do did the Abfab really? film together. I remember the day we got invited to the premiere and you yeah. showed up as like a green alien. Oh my god, I remember that. It was, of everyone that was there, I felt like so made up to be invited because I was only just starting out still at that point. Same. And like, that was like, for me, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to turn up in like the most mad look ever. I think you can tell with your drag that you understand yourself. You understand the, the art that you want to create. And I think it's been there since day one. Obviously, you know, you've refined yourself as I have, as we all do in drag. But like, I think since day one, I, I, the person that I met is the same person, just oh, so creative, you, so... Oh, now look at this blending, I'm like... <laughs> I'm so glad that the audience have got to, to see your story because I remember when I first met you again, and it mm. was so fresh and new yeah. because you were 18. Yeah. Like, with all of the stuff that you've been through, I just want you to succeed. And, I'm, and I, it makes me happy to know that I've been on this journey with you because I've seen it. I've literally seen it from the beginning. So seeing you tell your story on the, on the show was, was a proud moment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, all right, here we go. That's that. I had started drag when I was, um, when I was at university in Birmingham. Oh, really? Yeah. What, do you do? what were you doing at uni? Psychology. Oh. <laughs> An overthinker doing psychology. Oh, <laughs> fitting. I remember I started in like my first year or second year and I performed for the first time while I was there. I think as soon as I did that and I realised kind of that my trajectory could go that way, I, um, I, I quit university, which I would never suggest <laughs> you do. The kids watching, don't do that. Beauty school dropouts. <laughs> um, you know, it was eight long years before Jack Race came around for me, but. Yeah. I, I believe in the power of manifestation. And I, I believe well. in the power of ma masturbation as well. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I mean, it's all I've had for years. <laughs> I feel like my this is the nicest my base has ever oh, looked already. I'm so excited. <laughs> the best thing that you could have done is prepare yourself for the limited time oh you gosh. have to get ready. I, 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 like, I wish people like realized like how quick I changed my my whole things. Like I think episode one, people didn't really clock that I was like painted green mm -hmm. for the first time, <laughs> and then not painted green for second. You're like, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a shower. I'm like, Charity, where the fuck are you finding this magical time? And I'm literally like, oh my god, wipe this off quick, get this quick. <laughs> it was it was insane. But Did you clock the favorite things? Was like with the first runway. I thought it might be. Everyone else seems to have clocked it. Yeah, and I, did, I did. I think I did guess right, but I did think it was going to be around the other way. So mm -hmm. I prepared my looks so that I was going to do the white face from my hometown look second. Oh yeah, you did the white face from my hometown. Yeah. Look. Oh, you did a quite a big makeup change. So as I did wow. a big change. It was um, it was the way it was, and we still managed to pull it out of the bag. Yeah, we did. When everyone walked in, and you were the last one as well, so it was like petrifying because when when Veronica walked in and you and Ella and all these people I was like right I better be the fucking funny one because I don't know what else I've got going to be the <laughs> that's out, not true one. no that's not true you're in your own head there babe you're amazing at what you do like, like it goes back to our friendship because even after me saying what I said I'm surprised you were lip syncing to be honest yeah. even after all that when we got to the group challenge I chose you yeah. I, I don't think it's really people have really seen that, but I was really low at that point in the mm. competition. Like I felt like I was kind of delusional with like how how proud I was of my looks and stuff. And so I was get, I was beating myself up at this point in the competition. And That's the girls okay. knew that, everyone knew that. Yeah, of course. Um, and and the fact that I, I was really expecting to be picked last. Um, so the fact that you you chose me was like really uplifting. This is the thing about our relationship, like we could make those little silly comments and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I love and respect you and I know that you can I know what you can bring yeah. and vice versa, hopefully. One hundred percent. Like, I was never 100%. not going to have you on my team. 100%. Since the room seen you there, it was like a massive relief. Yes. <laughs> like, I, I recognise Crystal would work with her once before, but I, and I know through Instagram. Like, to, to know somebody that, like, actually knows me properly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I know her. And that like... is why I was petrified, because as soon as Charity walked in, I thought, this is the thing, I thought, Oh, fucking great. She's going to stomp right over me. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I tried, baby. <laughs> like, going against you the first time was hard enough. It really, really was. So to have to do it a second time, it was, it was just really, it, oof, there's not a word. I felt like the judges weren't seeing me and I was giving everything I could, but it wasn't getting across. And, the thing and is I was like, also getting quite frustrated with that and I kind of wanted to be out yeah, there. Yeah, that's I was, the I was, I was ready to go. I just wish that you had a, a, a spot on at least once where 
they were able to live for, for what you were doing. Yeah, I mean, I wish that as well. <laughs> But you know what, the nice thing is, like, it's now, it's now out and people do see, like, my art and Absolutely. do value what I do and that's Absolutely. really, I appreciate that so much. Like, you know, in your own head with this for so long, keeping a secret, 100%. it's like, you know, you start doubting, like, what you did. So seeing it on the TV and, like, hearing the validation, it's just, it makes it all feel so much more worthwhile. I'm trying to make this look like I know what I'm doing when I, I don't ever do anyone's makeup, so... It's gonna be gorgeous. We're just gonna like pretend like I'm a professional MUA. No, I just don't, I don't think you deserve to be in the bottom. Well, you yeah. said that you, you said that you did. <laughs> can you cover your eyebrows? Yeah, I can cover my eyebrows. Okay, good. good. So you're cool. just gonna have like them angry eyebrow lines that I do. That's cool. I think. The least makeup, the better. Honestly, you've seen me. I wear chapstick and mascara and I put the act. <laughs> She's just nice, like a nice big bold eye, I thought. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And this is going to be a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're going to be so scared when I'm doing your makeup. I'm like, good! Like, with a big line, like. Alright, now let me get some black eyeshadow and smack that. As hard as it was in the moment, it's entertaining. Like, it's. You know, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better person to go on the journey, to be honest. Definitely. Obviously, you've pitted again. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, now that that's kind of done, I'm going to put the liquid glitter on your eye. Okay, there we go. I feel like I need a nose. Yeah, I forgot about the nose, sorry. You're right, the nose is in the Okay, let me really try and do this nice little nose moment. Tatty lashes. Yeah. Tatty lashes. <laughs> Gifted. Hashtag and. Um. Ooh. Ooh, oh wow, nice. they are nice. They're really nice. And the bottom ones are nice as well. I just want to get the overall, over, overarching shape correct. You know what? I can't believe you have eyebrows. Well, I, 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 still, I just like to look human still. Oh, what? <laughs> what's them boys human, but... I don't mind a lot. Just going to clean up the top. Love, I'm doing this for love. All right, so we did the lashes and the finishing touches of the eyes off camera. Now we're gonna go in with some signature touches. Your highlight and then the lips, and I'm gonna add my face entirely. the little rhinestones on the on the brow. So let me quickly do that. So I love these lashes from Tatty Lashes. They're so cute. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna add some highlight onto your cheeks. Just and I like to. Add that as a bit of a highlight as well to really add a bit of. Wait, I've got my burger still. Yeah, go on, you eat burger. So, what colour should we go for? Because I've got options. We want like a nudie colour. I think nude. Nude. Okay. I've got like this cute little baby pink nude. Or to be fair, this is like the dry lipstick I've ever used in my life. Yeah. <laughs> this is like so dry. In fact, I have this little solution I'm going to pop in there really quick. <laughs> this, this is too dry. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's better. You know what, let's add a bit of clown white into the middle and mm -hmm. you just back your lips together. That's cute. All right, I think maybe I, I might feel be gorgeous. done. I think I might be done, yeah. Look at you. I feel absolutely you. stunning. Oh my god, right now I'm ready for the charity case experience. Oh my god, are you there? That's the down. big question. Right, so now it's time to turn you into an evil witch now that I look absolutely stunning. Uh, so why did you apply for dry brain? The application started during lockdown, didn't they? So I was DJing at the, at the time and to be honest with you, I was Daniel Scarlet. No, just as Harry. Just really? as, as me, yeah. In my life, I've had a million and one jobs, and I've always known what I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. I've never truly known what I did want to do, and um, and I never really took drag seriously as a viable career money making option. Before you get like known in the industry, like. You don't make much money from gigs. No, it's like, you do like 50 quid gigs, yeah. like unpaid gigs. It's like... Mm -hmm. If you've paid to get there and the expenses of the costumes or the whatever, whatever, you're not really making a profit. If yeah. anything, you're, if you're, anything, you're making a loss, yeah. Every time. So yeah, I never took drag seriously as a career. Cause in a nutshell, um, I felt like my life was a bit 
at a crossroad, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I think I felt I was mm -hmm. a bit stagnant and all that crap. So because there's no DJing and shit. Yeah, and and, you're like and, kind of and I was bored of that, and I, I wanted something different. I didn't feel fulfilled. Like I wanted to be more. How so, often were you doing drag? Not very much at that time. I was stuck. I guess not rap. many of us were during lockdown as no, well. No, like... not at all. Then the the application process came around. If I'm being honest, I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I said to myself, "Your life needs to change, and it needs to change now, because I'm not happy." And so I poured my heart and soul into my tape because it all just came from a place of me being desperate for my life to change. I needed to, to be passionate about something because at that time I wasn't. And that's what, that's what inspires me so much about you is because I always see that passion in you. And, and, it, and it's, it's, it's um, contagious. Like it makes Aww. me want to be passionate about what I do. So, so yeah, I applied because I was desperate to... Because of me? Yeah, but <laughs> you're the reason why. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, so I poured my heart and soul into the tape because I needed my life. I think there's something to say about it. Yeah, what was your audition tape like? <laughs> oh, my audition tape was crazy. You know, um, in my tape, I didn't answer any of the questions seriously. My special skill in drag is that I can play the flute. And then I got a douche out and I went, and I added some sound effect, went, oh <laughs> just to be, just to be silly and count. Because I basically, I wanted them to see that, that I don't take anything seriously. Yeah, you know. totally. What was your tape like? Um, my runways, I did like walking around the supermarket. You did not? Yeah, like walking around the supermarket, like collecting cans of stuff and like putting them in a thing. Oh my god. That was really fun. That's brilliant. Oh, this is so therapeutic. I love having to not do my own makeup. So when you look back at your time on Drag Race, do, like, how, do you, how do you look back on it and, and see your, your journey? It's been, it wasn't my dream journey of what I wanted for myself on Drag Race, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I wanted them to love me. Yeah, <laughs> of course. But that's okay, you know, like I said, I, I don't expect people to be like into what I do automatically. Like I expect people to challenge it and I expect people to be like shocked by it because that's kind of why I do it, you know, it's, it is like, it is political and it does have meaning, mm -hmm. um, but it is also fun and silly in camp. So, I mean, I'm just glad that like, I got to showcase a bit of what I'm about. Absolutely. More than anything. If someone had said to me, uh, however many years ago, oh, you're going to be lip syncing against Charity Case twice in a row. <laughs> I would have been like, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Come no on, really. Way. And like, have you always been good at just like quick, witty comedy? I've, I've always had that inside me, but I think it's, I found it very, very difficult for the majority of my drag career on how to translate that into drag and how to translate that into being funny on the mic and going out there yeah. and doing that kind of thing. Because, you know, it's, it's all well and good being funny with your mates, but it's so much harder to be funny when someone just go, gives you a mic and says, go on then. The, the reason that I only recently, you know, bef just bef as Drag Race came about uh, for me, um, really started to push myself out there was because before that, I was too scared to, 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 to let myself be um, vulnerable on stage. I was too scared that if I went out there and I had nothing to talk about, that I would make a fool of myself. But I think it came a point after I got back from filming Drag Race that I, going through the process of Drag Race, it taught me that this is what I bring to the table. Because mm. if I'm not a look queen and I'm not this and I'm that, then- But you are good at looks. Like you, mm. you know what I mean? That's not a question. Like, even if it's not something that you feel particularly passionate about, mm. you have a natural talent at that. You do, like- It, ins it inspires me to see ad other creative people like you. Like, it always has. Like, and especially being in that environment where you're, you've got like 11 other queens around you that are bringing their A game. Yeah. It really pushes you to be like, okay, what can I do to step it up? You know, one thing that I've, um, that I'm so appreciative of the whole drag race process is that I used to be like such a, like a loner and I used to just think like, oh, I have to do everything myself. And it's made me realize that like, there are so many other amazing kind of like creative, fun camp people out there that I can totally share this experience with. Yeah. And, that, and that's okay. 100%. Right, literally, us doing this right now is, is, is just 
I'm so glad that I get to do it because I, it's just yeah, it's something it I would really cool. do. Like, babe, we're on BBC One. I know. Like, it's, how are your family? Are they proud of you for that? Oh my God, yeah. My mum my mom rang me today and was like, I was like, mum, I can't talk at the moment. I'm just go I'm literally going to meet Charity to do this thing. And she went, okay, I just want to tell you that you're currently on blah, blah, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, thanks, mum. I'll go now. <laughs> what are your family like with the show? Oh, they're so excited. My mum and my mom and little sister came down to like surprise me when I was doing a viewing oh, party. Oh my god. It was so cute. cute. Yeah, cute. it was so cute. I remember watching Drag Race when I was however young uh, for the first time uh, before I started drag and it was like the biggest eye-opening experience for me because it opened up a world to me that I just didn't know existed. Like, and it was so inspiring and so inspiring to the point where I got myself on Drag Race because of, because I was that inspired by it. Yeah. Yeah, but after the Go Group Challenge, I remember feeling so, like, watching it on the show, like, watching it, you know, air, and feeling so, like, oh, God, humiliating and stuff. And, and reading the, the sweet messages that I got, even though I know that I didn't do my best, like, the fact that people went out of their way to kind of send me lovely sweet messages, it just... It really restores your faith in humanity. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it does. Open your mouth. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> Close your mouth. Let's just, just smudge it around a bit. There. Let's just extend it down here. You do makeup like a painter. Let me add a bit there and a bit there. Let me add a bit there and a bit there. Let me add a bit there and a bit there. A little bit of touch there. Yeah. And you look and you go, add a bit there and you know what I mean? It's like a painter. I love it. Let's do a little shadow under here from this top look is like. So I've also loved that you've managed to um to create this look when most of your makeup is not even here. Yeah, I've actually got all my makeup on tour right now, so I'm doing this with like backup makeup. Yeah. <laughs> She's managed to create this with the makeup is just lying around. You've done that in half an hour, Have I? Yeah, look at the timer. Look at that, look at us. I love it, I'm so glad we did this. Yeah, you look great. We look amazing. Yeah. Good crushes, good stitching! <laughs> <laughs> I've had comments saying, oh my god, since Charity Cake, Charity, so glad you got your teeth done since Drag Race. I'm like, that's not my teeth. <laughs> my teeth have always been like this. <laughs> like... This lip should be like the shiniest thing in the world. Why is that? I don't know, I'm just like a top, like sweaty, greasy top <laughs> lip. I like, to look, I like to look wet, like oily. So I just did lashes and lenses off camera. Should we get in our Get to our costumes, all right. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Ah, and here we are! Oh my god, I feel like Charity came. I feel like we've never looked this pretty. You look stunning, but we both do. I look gorgeous in such a different way. I'm obsessed so with this hair. Way. I wish I had this oh, hair. You look stunned. Beauty. Grace. I'm jealous of your hair. Look you at my hair. <laughs> no, I love it. Look, I could hide a multitude of sins in, in this hair and I love it. All right, well, this has been fabulous. Yeah, I've really enjoyed chatting to you and hearing your life story. And yours too, my darling. Um, it's just been so fun to share this experience with you and to live the true truth of Miss Charity Case. And I want to give a massive shout out to Trashy Planet and Bambi Blue, my gorgeous friend oh, who has stunning fixed costumes. up our stunning costumes. Yeah. For this. Gorgeous look. We're gonna just take some cute little photos on this yellow brick road. We're gonna sign out now, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra!